Five years since the late former President Benigno Noynoy Aquino III left Malacanang, Filipinos take to the streets to wear the yellow collar with pride again. Young and old, rich and poor, endure the midday heat on June 26, 2021 to catch a glimpse of the convoy where the urn bearing Aquino's ashes was being carried to his final resting place. The people cheer, wave yellow ribbons and flags, and flash the Laban sign, a gesture reminiscent of the time the late president's parents, democracy icons Ninoy and Cory Aquino, bravely fought a dictator. His family, friends, and allies also give him a standing ovation. These are Aquino's final hours with the Filipino people, and they pay homage to the man who once was the father of the nation. He died of renal disease secondary to diabetes at the age of 61. After battling various illnesses for two years, Aquino died peacefully in his sleep. The Aquino family wanted a simple wake for the late president. They refused a state funeral in Malacanang, which was how the family matriarch, Cory Aquino, was laid to rest when she passed on in 2009. When he stepped down from office in 2016, Aquino chose to be silent, even as he and his family faced attacks from the administration that succeeded him. It is no wonder then that until the end, politics haunted the man whose presidency left a deeply divided nation. Aquino's death, says an influential leader of the Catholic Church, should be a political awakening for Filipinos. Eulogies have been written and spoken and shared. But the best eulogy tribute we can pay to our dear President Noy is to bring back, recover, preserve, safeguard, and never again to compromise our dignity as a people and the decency of our leaders as servants, not bosses. The flags at half-mast are not only for the dead president, but for the dying, decent governance. Decent governance, the ang matuwid. This was the rallying cry of the Aquino presidency. His anti-corruption drive turned the Philippines into the rising tiger of Asia. But the sins of his administration earned him enemies and left many disillusioned at the end of his term. Many things will be said about the former president. But for the family he has left behind, he is just a simple noy. A loving brother, a doting uncle, a father figure they will forever miss. Napangako ko kasi sa aming ina nung siya'y nagkasakit na hindi ako isang leader na katulad ng aming ama na naging katulad niya. Ang mapapangako ko lang sa kanya ay sisiguraduhin ko na kaming lima ay parating magtutulungan. Ngayon, nabutas na yung aming pagsasamahan. Nawala na yung gitna. Hindi na uli kami mambiging kompleto. Sinwerte kami na naging mga anak kami ni Ninoy at ni Cory. Pero gusto naming magpasalamat sa mga nagmahal kay Noy, kahit hindi niyo siya kapag-anak o kadugo. To the Filipino people, the Aquino sisters say thank you for choosing Noy. We understand na para sa kanya it was enough. Enough that there was a time that you all had chosen him 
and given him the greatest honor anybody could be given. Doinoy now rests beside his parents at the Manila Memorial Park in Paranaque. He is home. When he was alive, Noynoy Aquino told Filipinos, Kayo ang Bosco, that the Filipino is definitely worth fighting for. He has left an indelible mark in Philippine history. Fly high, Mr. President. Thank you for your service. Mara Cepeda, Prappler, Paranaque.